All right, I seem to be having a frustrating conversation with Doug. Uh, Doug Bligus, Dubligus, whatever. I call him Doug because it's easier, because that's what we as humans do. We tend to go for explanations that are the easiest. That's how that goes. The more lazy people can be in a discussion, in a conversation, that's what they're going to do. If we make pronouns complex, people will simply stop using them. If people have to worry about offending someone because they didn't memorize this list of potentially hundreds of, of, of words, or if someone says that, oh, I'm, I identify as this, this is my pronoun, and someone didn't memorize that, you know, it's deemed to be more offensive than if you forget someone's name. Okay, I'm sorry, that's just stupid. And if we make pronouns complex, we will destroy the reason why people use pronouns. Okay, it may not technically be destroying the concept of a pronoun, but if we make pronouns too difficult to use, people will simply stop using them. People will describe something like uh, the wo the uh, uh, the the person wearing horned rimmed glasses in a pink sweater. Yeah, you know that person wearing horned rimmed glasses in a pink sweater. Yeah, they were doing da 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 da. People will do anything to avoid having to memorize potentially hundreds of words. Okay, you're not going to enforce, you're not going to be able to enforce this idea of people memorizing hundreds of new words as to not offend someone. This goes way beyond any of the crap that's went on in the past. I think about uh, George Carlin's talks about, about the subject of political correctness. You know, you can't say, uh, uh, you can't say crippled, uh, then it, then you couldn't say handicapped, then you couldn't say uh, uh, physically challenged, uh, and then for a while there was something, what, differently abled? You know, I mean, always some new set of things that you're supposed to say in order to not offend people, and now it's turning into something where we're supposed to memorize hundreds of words, hundreds of phrases as to not offend people. No, sorry, that's not going to go over very well. And if that starts to get enforced, people will simply stop using those words. They will simply stop using pronouns altogether. Because if pronouns are, are now supposed to be something that more accurately describes someone than if you were to actually give a description of someone, then why use them? Um, you know, and so I go back to what I said at the very beginning of this video. You know, I call I call him Doug because it's easier than the dubligus dubligus thing. You know, um, I've tried to get pronunciations of his name. I still don't know how to do it. He used to go by Doug. I think that's the name that he goes by regularly in person. And so I call him Doug, you know, because it's easier. That's what people do. If you remove the ease of conversation from one area, they will just find another area to have ease of conversation. And I guarantee that if someone continues to get referred to as the person with horn-rimmed glasses wearing a pink sweater, if you know, I, I guarantee that they'll probably get tired of being referred to as that. It's a little bit dehumanizing. But if that's what you want to do to language, if, that's, if you want to support this idea that this is what we should do to language, then, I mean, you'll, you'll get the results that many people like myself can blatantly see will be the result. So if, if you make pronouns, if you destroy the reason why people use pronouns, they just won't use pronouns. It's, a, it's, it's simple. It's really simple. It's a very simple concept. To me, it's idiotic to, to, to fuck up the, the, the way that we use pronouns. It's, it's idiotic. I mean, when people are getting more offended that you used the wrong pronoun, then the idea of someone not 
remembering someone's name, hey, there's a problem. 